Hello, Michael here with another RenderMan tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at uh, opacity maps and how to use them to create something like a leaf, for example, uh, from some very simple geometry and you can use this for things like XGen cards uh, or archives rather. Um, and you could create a whole tree using some as the simple technique and some other things that I'll show you at the end of the video But we're going to focus on this leaf for now So I just jumped on the net and downloaded an image of a leaf I'll put a link in the description to where I got it from and you can see that we've got a leaf here now um, This particular image has got a white opaque background Which is no good to us because we want the background to be transparent so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to you can see obviously I'm in Photoshop go select color range select the white background the fuzziness the more you increase it the more likely it's going to grab some of those uh, range of colors that are above uh, or sort of below the 1.0 value so sort of um, you don't want it at exactly zero because you'll see you start to get these artifacts so just pull it in until it starts to grab a little bit of that silhouette click OK and then delete and then as long as you're happy with the edge of of your um, leaf so there's no weird artifacts or anything like that around the edge you're pretty much good to go from here so we can just save this now if you go file uh, save as or if you hold down control alt shift and s you can save it out for web um, that's a good way to do it if you just want to quickly grab a png 24-bit um, and transparency you need to have that enabled um, which means that that background which is currently transparent will remain transparent or it will give it a um, alpha map essentially so um, another thing to pay attention to is the image dimensions 1600 by 705 that's going to be important in a moment and you'll see why um, but for now let's save that out and then um, i'll jump over into uh, maya and i'll start setting it up for you Alright, so here we are in Maya uh, with a fresh scene. I'm going to first create a uh, Pixar dome light and uh, I'm going to enable visibility. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go to polygons on the shelf there and then click the, poly uh, the plane. And we're just going to make this a one by one plane by um, clicking and dragging over both those fields and then middle mouse clicking and dragging to the left and we'll just make that um, all the way to the lowest. Now we're going to rotate this 90 degrees on the X so it looks something like that um, and now uh, this is where the dimensions were important so we'll go to the attribute editor for our plane and then we'll go to the leftmost tab which is the um, transforms and then we'll go to scale so we want to adjust the um, X and Y scale so uh, the first thing we want to change is this so we want to change this to 1.6 which is the same as 1600 and then the Y we're going to change to uh, 0.705 so now that dimension is the same as our um, or that aspect ratio is the same as our uh, as our image so we can size this up using the transform tool and it doesn't make a difference to its aspect ratio so now we need to apply a render man shader to it so we'll just select the object go to the render man shelf and click the render man ball thingo and then we've got our shader applied to it Let's grab the Hype Shade Editor by clicking this button here. And I'll just clean up that scene. And then let's map out the um, Pixar surface by right clicking and selecting um, Graph Selected. Let's change that uh, name to Leaf 1. And then let's grab the Diffuse Color Map that we uh, just created. So you want to select File. And then uh, on the right hand side for the attributes you want to go to the open button and wherever you um, saved your leaf out to is what you want to grab and it'll be that PNG. I'm just going to remap that. Alright so um, if we just minimize that for a moment and um, I run an IPR you'll see that we've got the black background um, which is the alpha map of our image which is no good to us obviously because we don't want to see that we want that to be transparent so um, we can fix this and um, there's one other problem the backside is um, black which um, it doesn't have the image on it that means so we need to fix that as well so we'll stop that IPR and we'll go back to the hypershade editor uh, first thing we'll do is we'll go to our diffuse channel 
uh, we'll go to advanced and we'll select double sided. So this will mean that the shader, uh, the image will be applied to both sides of the plane. The next thing we want to do is go to our leaf front color PNG node and we want to drag out the out alpha down to presence. So presence is basically visibility. Um, so anywhere in between a range of zero and one um, will define its visibility. So at a range of zero, which is the alpha value of zero or black, um, there will be no visibility. So now that we've done that, if we rerun that IPR, you'll see that that leaf is transparent around the edge of it. Zoom in a little bit. Um, transparent around the edge of it and um, shaded on both sides, which is super useful. And you can go a little bit further if you want to with this sort of thing. You create a bump map for it from the um, image by um, desaturating the image and inverting the um, values. But uh, for if you're just creating a tree like with lots of leaves, something very simple like this is a good way to do it. Um, and you can mix this up with XGen with some XGen archives um, and create a whole bunch of leaves. And I'll just for the sake of argument, so you can see that I'm not cheating, I'll just put some geometry behind there so you can see that the geometry is in fact um, visible through the transparent part of the plane. And also if we create another light in here, I'll just turn this around. And to make this obvious, I'll change the color to be red um, and change the intensity to 25. And then I'll just rerun that IPR um, that I might actually just have to turn this off for a second. So you'll see that the silhouette of the leaf texture is creating a shadow on the um, object. So this is obviously very powerful um, for creating really realistic sort of um, sh shadows based on fake geometry essentially. Now obviously you're going to want a pretty good image for this, um, something that doesn't have any obvious light direction. So the light is roughly coming from above. Um, and this is not the greatest for doing close-ups and things like that um, unless you've got a really nice diffuse image with very little sort of shading in it. Uh, this particular image would probably not be so great for that sort of thing but generally it's going to work pretty well um, for like your medium shots or your long shots and like I said for creating a tree using XGEM. I'll just quickly, quickly show you one other example of things that you could do as well. Um, so you can see here um, I haven't cleaned this uh, image up enough but Basically what I've done is the same technique to create a cloud. Um, something that's worth keeping in mind though with this technique is obviously perspective is important. So um, something like this cloud is not going to work super well unless you sort of keep it roughly in perspective. But for a long shot that cloud looks fairly realistic. Um, the other thing is that the edge quality is not very good. I should really go in and soften those edges out. But still um, I actually literally use this technique on a film um, I was working on this week to just create a cloud and I thought it'd be worth showing um, as an example as well. So yes, hopefully this has helped you all out. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, and if you've liked the video, make sure you click that like button to help other people find it on YouTube. Otherwise, if you are not already, make sure you're subscribed because I'm doing two tutorials a week at the moment for all sorts of CG stuff. So if you're into that, make sure you're subscribed. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching and happy rendering.